Wait, can you talk to the guy? Or the mummy? What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Bell sounds or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. <laughs> know where I can get some vinegar? Any restaurants nearby? Know where I can get some gold? Maybe some Kragnerins? No idea what the fuck that is. Great head, man. I dig the three corner idea. It's like the pyramids, you know. I heard pyramids are supposed to have weird energies. Far out. Well, nice talking to you, dude. <laughs> and now I save. <laughs> I save a lot. I'm one of those people who likes to save, and I also have two separate saves in case one corrupts or gets like something crap happens to it. You can tell I'm a long-term gamer. <laughs> Look, a gold-plated film pen. What do we need, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys? We need a gold thing. Let's talk to George Washington. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. Oh, <clears throat> pardon me. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? We had sandwiches about this? How quaint. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Well, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Wandering's the great truth, huh? Well, I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there was a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see there, uh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down at once. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this. <laughs> Voila. You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Yay, now we have Laverne. Happy face. I can imagine Elisa liking Laverne. Uh, yeah, I need to give the can over to Laverne, I know this, I remember this. Oh yeah, she's not there, so I'll have to take back. Give me Arabic, I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something, or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Don't know why I made him cop me. Owner, no one owns me. Why is she English? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Anderson family motto. <laughs> Lol. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. Get me out of here. This is a violation of my rights. Rights? You're a human. You don't know any rights. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, <laughs> that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. I don't know what the actual voices were for those. I remember the three main characters. Okay, pick a can up. Um, I can't remember what else you have to do. <laughs> oh, I know the child. I think the scalper has to go to Bernard. So I'll put it in here. Bernard oh, no, can pick it up. What should I do next? Um, I think we use the flyer. Yeah, I think I remember this. Okay. Meanwhile, soon all the power of the heavens will be mine. All mine. If only we had some nasty weather. I can create that nasty weather. 
for these kind of games you have to think of like the silliest things or like things which are like power not parables that's that's that doesn't pretty just anything i mean like well you'll see what i mean in a minute but sayings old wives tales that type of thing so use Dum de dum de dum. <laughs> oh, there you go. I use the dum de dum de dum. And then, so washing your car means that it always rains. I think all those are characters. <laughs> I only just realised that car is short. Is a short thing. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets caught on a kind of rain, my boy. But how are you going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics. Much like your mind, apparently. It fills in a state of relative infinity. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. <laughs> I can't remember what you did then, but I just knew that happened. Oh, you had to send this video to live around, but I can't remember why. <laughs> okay. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. He's not dark. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson. Noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of scientist, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Dude? What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas. And this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled with remembrances of our time to reveal 400 years hence. So how's that time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Could you start a fire, please? I wonder how you start a fire. I'd love to oblige, young man, but I can't. This is the only log and I've done the wrong thing and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington really- Oh, I remember how to do it! I remember how to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Later, bra. Why is it going bra? What? What's going to happen later? Uh, I don't like when people say later when they're not actually going to see me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to see you later, you lie! If you put this in the suggestion box, things happen. <laughs> Ahem! Boy, it's so quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to do with just starting a fire? No. I'm thinking it was about time we opened the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George. Just say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. I always keep my hunger's voice accidentally. <laughs> Excellent. Well, what was she thinking? No one of the importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. And here's a suggestion. It says George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Um, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. Strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. <laughs> no? Good. And so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? And then, ta-da! Vacuum cleaner basic. Although I suppose not back to play in the, in the um, other basement. But never mind. Right. Uh, what do I need to do? Oh, yeah, I need to go to Itchy Videos. I need to go to this person. Yes, I remember what I need to do. Okay, let's go. Walking up the stairs, it's in my nose. Okay. Open door. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? 
Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. Dong ha ha ha. I hate that clown. <laughs> <laughs> I love that bit. Ha, ha, ha. Lol. Defla deflated shreds of Uzu. It's bad not to carry the weight of his death on my conscience. <laughs> and open the grating. This must look so weird to someone who hasn't seen it before. Hey, boy, you missed the party! Is he supposed to be like another Ben Franklin? You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night! At a novelty good salesman convention. I tell you, we novelty good salesmen that, that know how to do a good thing. Has anyone told you they like Donna Menchie? Or maybe that right. That's strange. My mice says I look like Charlie Chaplin. So, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Oh, I think I remember how to do this. Yeah. I was gonna blow your head off, didn't ya? Well, you were right. Hey, 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 hey. Oh yeah, cuz. <laughs> you shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. <laughs> that cracks me up every time. Catch the bat, catch the teeth, catch the teeth. Pick up chuck teeth. Yay! Oh yeah, you just walk through it, you don't open it. Okay, pick up fork. Pick up... Uh, I think it's normal coffee. And open door. Oh god, she knows. What to find the pick up? Find I can't remember what any of these things are for. I just remember I have to pick them all up. <laughs> That's what you do in a point and click game. You just pick everything up that you can. Okay, let's go upstairs now. Oh, I remember this guy. Door. This took me so long to do. This was um like the one thing that I didn't know how to do. Just close the doors and pick up the thingy. Okay. And then open door. Oh yeah, I think I have to send off something. I can't remember how. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my designs. So I'm ending my novelty and friendly career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. Sigh. I can't even do this right. Aww. Pick up disappearing egg. Open door. Green. Bernard. What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's going to go out and conquer the world, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? <laughs> that was really weird. I don't really want to talk to him. See you later. I don't really like Green, I find him kind of boring. I think he's the most boring character in it. Uh, pick up videotape because they use videotapes and oh look Star Wars because <laughs> again LucasArts <laughs> and that's a tentacle litter box by the way <laughs> think what you want I like the way that thingy has the pop bunk okay let's turn on the music turn on the music it's not right is it whoa this is loud Nope. 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 Nope.